Hello my beauties! Today I'm going to talk about a very important organ in your body which is the kidneys and there are reasons why we have two of them because they are responsible for a lot of things that happen in our body. So first let's talk about what kidneys are. Kidneys are basically these two bean shaped organs that sit pretty much around this area of your stomach and it is responsible for waste disposal and what it does it regulates a lot of things in your body it actually sorts out unrecyclable and recyclable waste and it also produces urine your kidneys also cleanse your blood 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year your kidneys processes approximately around 200 liters of blood per day and when it produces urine that goes to your bladder you will actually excrete about one to two liters of urine per day as well which is including a lot of the waste the toxins and all the unwanted things that your body does not need it actually helps to regulate the blood pressure in your body your kidney will also regulate the water balance in your body so any excess water is to be made into urine your kidney also manages the production of vitamin d which is important for your muscles bones and your general overall health so basically your kidneys is a very important organ to keep you healthy, young and youthful. So of course there are certain foods that you should eat to not only help to keep your kidneys healthy but also boost the functions of your kidney. Number one, cranberries. They are an excellent source of vitamin C, antioxidants, fiber and very low in sugar. But what makes them super good is that they are great for preventing UTIs as they make urine more acidic and help keep bacteria from attaching to the inside of the bladder. They also help fight current ulcer bacteria in the kidneys and digestive tract. Number two, cabbage. Contains a ton of good stuff like vitamin K, C, B6, folic acid and fiber. It is low in potassium so it's kidney friendly. But what makes them special is that it is filled with phytochemicals which break apart free radicals and combats cancer and support cardiovascular health. Number 3. Red bell peppers. It's low in potassium which is great for flushing out the kidneys and eliminates water from the body. However, if you have existing kidney problems, frequent urination can be painful. Red bell peppers are a good source of protective vitamin C and lycopene which is an antioxidant that fights off certain types of cancers. It too contains vitamin A, C, B6, folic acid and fiber. Number 4. Mushrooms. They are the best whole food, plant-based source of vitamin D, which is an important mineral for good kidney health. It regulates kidney functions and prevents kidney diseases, plus they're tasty too. Number five, kale. Awesome source of vitamin A and C that prevents inflammation and protect the immune system. It's low in potassium and high in iron, which will optimize kidney functions. A lot of people with kidney diseases have an iron deficiency, so I always prefer prevention rather than cure. Last but not least is this all black porridge that both my mom and I love eating. It's made up of black rice, black bean, sesame, barley, yam, peanuts, walnut and dates. I just add some brown sugar and it's super delicious and healthy for your kidneys as well. Now let's talk about what are some things that you do that can damage your kidney which you should avoid doing and keep that in mind. Number one is don't hold your pee for too long because when you hold it in your bladder for a long time it can cause bacteria which will actually cause a lot of kidney problems in the future. Number two is drinking too much soft drink. Soft drink actually contains a lot of sugar which throws off the balance which causes your kidney to work over time to balance the pH out for you. Number three is taking too much painkillers. So a lot of the painkillers like Panadol and Aspirin will contain a lot of foreign toxins that your body don't need and probably don't require. So therefore your kidneys will have to also work over time to get rid of those toxins from your blood. Number four is eating a lot of processed foods that contain high sodium like potato chips or ramen because sodium actually not only gives you high blood pressure but it actually reduces the function of your kidney. Number five is obviously dehydration. So make sure you keep hydrated at all time because when you deprive your body of water, H2O, your kidneys will actually become dehydrated and it causes problems like kidney stones which is probably one of the most painful things you could ever experience in your life. And of course we cannot deny some of these problems can be hereditary so it is genetics or passed down from you know your, your parents or your grandparents or ancestors so there are things that you cannot avoid. However, I do have some 
or some exercises that you could do that not only help to improve the function of your kidney but also protect it, nurture it and make sure it works at its best. First thing you need to do is rub the palm of your hands together like so and to warm up your hands then place them on the sides of your back which is where your kidneys are and then rub them up and down for about 200 times which is the actual recommended amount but I guess just do it for as long as you can before your hands get sore. You should feel very warm in that area. The next one also starts with the same move by rubbing your palms together then gently place both hands over your ears. Slowly rub your ears clockwise 20 times and then anti-clockwise 20 times. The next bit gets a little tricky. Place one hand behind your back with your palm facing away from your body and the other hand goes over your head to reach the ear on the other side. Pull to lift up your ear 14 times and then switch hands to do the other side. Do this set 3 times in total. The last one is for you lazy people out there. All you have to do is soak your feet in warm to hot water for about 15 minutes each night before going to bed. There are hundreds of pressure points on the soles of your feet and when you increase the blood circulation in your feet, you are in turn exercising the organs in your body. So that's it guys, I hope this was somewhat helpful. You never know, it could be helpful for your parents or your relative or your friends, so don't forget sharing is caring. If you have any questions about your kidneys, leave your comments below and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys have a lovely week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!